Hey local leaders, I want to talk to you today about networking. And if that word kind of gives you the shivers, you're not alone. I hate networking. I had typical networking events to me are inefficient and ineffective for achieving the end goal of building referral generating relationships. All right? I don't know about you, but meeting with dozens of people for short periods of time and doing small talk, I don't think works. Schmoozing, I find very superficial and is not creating a referral, strong referral generating relationship. And when you go to loud places and you have to yell in people's ears and then stick your own ear in people's mouths, all to be heard, I don't think is very conducive for building referrals and generating relationships. So that is why the local leader system, you know, was built because relationships take time. And interviewing people is specifically designed time where you get to learn about a person and help a person and then let the law of reciprocity act on your business. Okay? In fact, we're going to be so bold as by saying that our local leader system is the most efficient and most effective way of building relationships. Right? And it's already proven to work. So we're really excited about people finally connecting with local business owners and local professionals and community leaders. Okay, now there are th some skills that make you better at interviewing and will make you better than others at networking through interviews. Okay, so here are my three tips. First, be genuine. Okay, genuinely be interested in that person and that business and you'll naturally know what to f ask and follow up with with the questions. Right? And that person's going to feel it. And when they feel that you're genuinely trying to help them and you're genuinely interested in them, that's going to make them like you and want to work with you and want to refer that you to their customers or want to use you when they need to buy or sell a home. Right? Be genuinely interested and you'll have way more success with your interviews. Okay, tip number two. Make sure that you have some informal conversation, right? Go off script because informal conversation helps turn a relationship into a friendship. Okay, I'll say it again. Informal conversation helps turn a relationship into a friendship. And if you think back to where your business has come from, it's friends, right? We all get business from our friends, whether they use us or refer us business. So the goal of this interview is to make and start a relationship that turns into a friendship. Okay, and tip number three, take a picture. Okay, this is often forgot at the end, but this thing is so powerful because what does that picture mean? Right? Pictures say a thousand words. So what does that picture mean for your brand and for your business? And what does it say to people when they're seeing it? Because that picture on that article is going to be on your neighborhood website. It's going to be promoted on your social media. It's going to be promoted on the other person, that business owner's social media. And this giant network of people who are now seeing you with your smiles and thumbs up and shaking hands with these business owners, and professionals and local leaders consistently picture after picture you seem to know everybody and everybody seems to know you like you trust you and want to work with you what do you think that does for your business right that is the key to being a service professional in real estate you've known it for years the more people who know you like you trust you is going to turn into more clients and referrals and this picture is so valuable for giving that tangible evidence that you're a local leader and that people want to 
work with you because they know you, they like you, they trust you, and you're friendly. So get out there, interview local business owners, interview local professionals, interview community leaders, have fun doing it, have fun in this new form of networking because you're gonna have time to build relationships and you're gonna be doing something that gives value and that is what creates referral generating relationships that build your business. Have fun being a local leader and have fun interviewing people in your community. Take care.